Practice set 40, rearrange the following formulas to solve for the indicated variable. In number 9, they're asking us to solve for b. It involves a fraction, though, and that always is a little intimidating. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the fraction 1 half, which in this case is 2. To maintain equality, both sides will get multiplied by the reciprocal of the 1 half. 2a on the left is the result of the multiplication. On the right hand side we have 2 which has a denominator of 1 times the fraction 1 half resulting in a 1. These will cancel one another out leaving 1 times bh or simply bh. The last step to get b by itself then is to divide both sides by h on the left hand side, unless we know values of the variables, we can't simplify it any further. We'll leave it alone. H over H cancels out, leaving a 1, and 1 times B is B. We've solved for B. Problem number 11 in practice at 40 asks us to solve for D. This also has a fraction in it, and that's the first thing I'm going to do to get rid of that fraction is to counter the division or the fraction of 1 fourth by multiplying both sides by 4. So I'm going to take 4 times the left hand side and 4 times the right hand side. 4a is the result of 4 times a. The 4 that's multiplied by the, the expression on the right hand side cancels out the 4 that's in the denominator and leaves us with pi times d squared. Next, when we're peeling away the layers, d squared is multiplied by pi. To undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by pi, and we could have done that actually in the previous step with a 4 over pi if we wanted to treat that as a fraction and multiplying by the reciprocal. Regardless of whether we did it in two steps or one, the result is 4a over pi. The pi's cancel out, leaving a 1 times d squared. Now, this one, to get d by itself, because it's squared, we have to do the undoing operation of a square, which is the square root. Maintaining equality, what we do to one side, we do to the other side. On the left-hand side, we're taking the square root of the quantity 4a over pi. We'll leave it as is. And the square root of something that's squared is just that something, which is giving us the value of d. The square root of d squared is d. We've solved the equation for the indicated variable.